Hello and good morning to you. It's Talking Really and today we're going to talk about a issue that come up on social media today. It's the 24-7 speed cameras that have been installed on the smart motorways. Um, basically these are up in the north of the country, M1 and uh, around Manchester area, so the M56. Now the argument is that they are going to be turned on 24-7 and they are set to 70 mile an hour and obviously 70 mile an hour is the legal speed limit on motorways however in most cases when you're being caught speeding by a speed camera you'll generally find that they allow you uh, 10 percent plus two so if you're speeding 70 then you can probably not get done until 79 so anything over 79 they generally will ticket you for it. So obviously putting it directly on 70 means that a lot of the vehicles will be speeding and they won't even know that they are speeding because the, the speedometers are not exactly accurate and this is a fact of life. The argument is that you shouldn't be doing exactly the speed limit anyway because it's not a target, it's a limit. So when you're when you're doing advanced driving, you'll tend to be doing the driving for for the conditions that you're driving on, in, and also for the for the view that you can see. So ahead of you, now motorways are are renowned for being very safe. In actual fact, uh, the the idea of the speed camera lock being turned on is it's been argued that it's a money making scheme, because actually motorways are completely safe. These are taken from the government website, which is um, the latest stats they have are for 2016. Uh, and this this um, stats um, page, which I'm showing you, uh, will tell you all about the various conditions, you know, the various types of uh, conditions where people have been killed. When you think about motorways, they actually take 21% of the entire traffic, which is quite a lot of traffic. But they only account for 5% of the actual fatalities. It's actually quite a good ratio of um, fatalities to the amount of traffic that they take because they are completely safe. In Germany, they have no speed restrictions, obviously. I, I don't know what the, uh, what the stats are for, for their road, road traffic accidents, but certainly talking about the UK, um, they are pretty safe and in actual fact if we look at the stats they've actually gone down um, they went down quite a lot this between uh, the stats that we had and the previous year 2015 comparing that to built up areas which is obviously cities and things like that where there are 30 mile an hour zones where there was um, 789 fatalities uh, and obviously non-built up areas which is rural areas where there could be 50 and 60 mile an hour speed limits there's actually 910 fatalities now when you add it all up 1,792 uh, fatalities in 2016 in, uh, um, in a situation where traffic has increased between 2 and 2.7 percent on the roads you know you can see that that is uh, obviously sad because those people have died however it's it's quite a small number of people in in reality uh, so and when you look at motorways on their own the figure is is obviously 93 so that is very very small so i think that actually the the government are actually targeting these big cameras to make money and, and there is no other reason for it it's not about uh, uh, safety. It's not about road safety at all. This is about making money. And also, when I tell you that 8,000, over 8,000 people have been caught already by these speed cameras, um, you know, that's 8,000 times by 60, which is uh, the going rate for a, a fine. Um, so that's a hell of a lot of money that they're making um, by making this. Uh, 70 mile an hour speed limit uh, 24-7. The whole social media thing um, popped up today and, and I just thought I would comment on it. My last point, which uh, I actually thought was quite intriguing, uh, was a stat 
about the 20 mile an hour zones, which are completely, I just find them completely irrelevant because um, they're not signposted very well. And you don't know if you're in a 30 or a, uh, or a 20 sometimes. Um, and actually the, the stats bear it out because they've actually increased the number of um, roads by a quarter that have 20 mile an hour zones in them, which um, it ironically has increased the number of, of, of um, injuries in the 20 mile an hour zones. So 20 mile an hour zones have not decreased the rate of injury, which is very, very ironic, I think. I don't think they want their implementation because, as I say, you know, they haven't, uh, actually statistically, they haven't uh, reduced the number of injuries. So there we go. I just thought I'd uh, share that with you today. Um, keep an eye out for social media because it actually comes up with some uh, good, uh, juicy gossip. Right, I'll, uh, I'll love you and leave you and uh, um, have a good day and uh, bye for now.